All right, hello everyone. We're here today to talk uh, about and have our first town hall, oh my gosh, um, about the cell bowl. So we have two cell bowls that run together at the same time. The national one is for all of the programs that are signing up in the United States to participate. Those include MLT and MLS programs. And this is the second year that it's been running. Um, the ASCP organization is the one who is the key or lead sponsor uh, with this event. Um, it is a baby of mine. I'm Tiffany Gill, and you may know me as Medical Lab Lady Gill. Um, I have a YouTube channel and some other social media accounts. You can find all of that here in Linktree. But that QR code is going to be really important for you also, because if you're looking for the link in order to get uh, to the Cell Bowl website that we just made this year with ASCP and to also um, watch all of the stats on the playlist on YouTube and see all the social media um, coverage, you can go to this QR code and it gives you all those links there as well as other things. So the store is there as well where you can purchase Lab Swag if you don't happen to win it. So um, last year was the first year that we ran this competition. What it is, is an NFL style hematology competition where we've got students um, of all ranges of capability and um, skill. And it's supposed to be a fun way to learn. It doesn't have to be something where you are the greatest in the nation, although I'm sure that's really great. I've never been there yet, but. Um, we'll see how, uh, how well you fare uh, this time. So as I said, this is the second season we've ever done this. Um, Mr. Aaron Odegaard is my co-host, and I don't know if you can see him in the video or not, but he is helping me out today. We both have our syllable backgrounds uh, behind us. If you watch the playlist from last year, you'll notice it's the same one. We're trying to have some consistency here. Um, so let's get back to talking about um, what it actually is. So there is a free app. It's um, the Cellavision Cell Atlas app, and it's um, capable on all different devices, Android and um, Apple. And once the students download that app, they can go into the quiz, which is where the actual competition is taking place. So um, the Cell Atlas app has cell quiz on there. And what it is, is a nine square um, picture board that underneath of it, it's telling the person who's using it to identify this particular cell. And if they get it right, uh, the one that they clicked on that was correct goes green and they move on to the next one. However, if they didn't get it correct, then it turns red and they have two more chances to out of those nine squares to get the correct one. If they do not get the correct one, it continues on to the next one after those three chances. So the student is trying to identify as many cells as possible up to 30 in one minute. Now, what I have noticed and what my students have noticed in the past are that the uh, when you choose the wrong one, your time tends to go a lot more quickly <laughs> than if you choose the correct one. So even though it's, oh my gosh, I have a minute, um, take the time to really pick the right one, you know, and make the effort to choose the right one. Because if you don't, it goes a lot faster than if you took the time and got the right one. And your time seems to actually go on forever when you do that. I've played it myself <laughs> and, and I'm like, wow, is this minute ever gonna stop? Cause I keep getting them and we keep going. It's crazy. Um, but then I, I was getting all of them wrong to see how that would work. And it goes by extremely quickly. Okay, so who is eligible? This year is a little bit different than last year. Last year, it was whoever wanted to play. And it still is that way in regard to whether they're an MLT or an MLS student. However, 
Um, since we have ASCP as our main sponsor, um, we are asking that every student that is participating have free ASCP student membership. That isn't because we're trying to hoodwink anybody. It's really because um, when you see what the prizes are at the end, uh, every student that is receiving those prizes will end up needing to have the membership to take advantage of the um, interactive exam, as well as um, some other things. So when someone is an ASCP student member, they have the ability to um, purchase exams if they want to practice exams. They can uh, have scholarships and have student awards. There's a lot of wonderful things that they have access to. So it's all free um, unless you choose to purchase um, one of the bundles. And if, if your uh, student team wins, you actually, um, each student receives a bundle, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so um, you're, you're seeing on the left here that there's individual play as well. That's the international um, competition and we'll get to that in just a minute. So um, basically what that is, is if a student gets a perfect score, whether they're on one of the national teams or outside the country, they can post their score as long as it was in a smaller time than mine or a shorter time than mine. And I think I lost that where that was on the, <laughs> on the screen, I think it's down below. Um, but when they, do, um, when they do beat my time, they enter to win these uh, prizes on the side here that are running now from week two all the way through seven. Last year, students requested more prizes. Um, these are out of my pocket. I am not made of money, <laughs> um, but I am trying my best to appease the masses. So uh, you have a couple more prizes that you could win this year um, with those perfect scores. Okay. So if you are a faculty member or a program director who wants to sign your team up, this is where you go. And uh, the link will be available um, in the QR code, but also down below when we get to that point. So we actually have a website this year. So ASCP has been uh, wonderful and supportive for um, helping really launch this event so that it's even bigger than before. So if you have um, if you have a program, you can come here and uh, sign up on the right side here. If you need your students to sign up to be a student member to get free membership, you can go on the left over here. So this is a screenshot. Um, I do have it available if we want to talk about it when you have questions. The, um, the thing about the website is that we're gonna be trying to do a lot of wonderful um, highlights. So last year, uh, students and faculty really wanted to um, be seen a little bit more than they were. They were nervous about if they participated that they might not win. And so they were very scared because it was a national competition. And the whole idea is to highlight as many programs as possible and to also empower our students and encourage them to do well. So we have prizes obviously, um, but this time we're gonna be doing program spotlights. Um, one thing I do want to talk about is that when, when you do submit pictures from your program and your team, we are encouraging that this is team play. So even if you have someone that seems to be carrying the team, you're as great as your best player. And, uh, you know, that, that, institutional score is a team score. It's not necessarily just that one person's. So I did get some feedback that some teams ended up having one person who was really the, the MVP every week. And that MVP was starting to get um, 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, stressed, oh, stressed <laughs> overwhelmed, and they felt pressured uh, to keep carrying the team. So when I don't know if anybody ever saw it, but during the the gameplay and the playlist last year, I kept saying, hey, let's get some team pictures. Let's get some more people in these pictures. It is great to showcase your MVP, but you also want to encourage the rest to rise up to the same level and encourage that it is a team sport, right? Sport. So um, please make sure to uh, encourage team play and that we all win together. As Aaron and ASCP would say, we're stronger together. Right, Aaron? Yep, exactly. And it's a great chance to showcase your program and your students. So showcase your team, no matter what you're doing, showcase be proud of your students so that's right and, all of and, them <laughs> and we'll help and we'll help showcase them throughout the season too absolutely that brings me into another thing um when when um people were submitting their pictures or the scores they would say the student's name i can't say the student's name on um on the channel during our episodes because i don't know if they're over 18 and if i have permission to use their name Okay, so it was wonderful to see all the enthusiasm last year. And I really, really love the enthusiasm last year. Um, but we just want to make sure that we're not getting frustrated over things um, that could be avoided or weren't really an understanding. So I can't say anybody's name. <laughs> and please make sure that we definitely showcase it as a team. So when you are signing up your team, um, it's going to ask you for a blurb about your program and it's going to ask for a team picture or a team photo. So the idea with this is that every time we have a highlight, we're going to have your team picture and uh, the description that you give us about your program. So make it catchy. Don't make it something that you cut and pasted from your website because everybody can see that. Um, the idea is we want to uh, hook the audience, right? Bring them in just like the chorus of a song. You're trying to hook the person into listening and really get them to want to hear that song. You want them to be interested in your program and you want to showcase why you're the best option. Okay. So we will have the team picture. We'll have the description that you give us about your program. And then we will also have the website listed there for anybody to go and get, uh, get more information from your website. So it would be really redundant if you had copied and pasted, right? Um, so I sent out an email to everyone showing what my program highlight was. And um, just as an example, because that's what I submitted because my team is playing in the cell bowl also. Uh, so feel free to use that as an example. All right, so now it comes down to brass tacks. What are you all actually doing? Okay, so the students are going to have um, chances during the week in order to get their highest score. So they will play that cell atlas, cell quiz, and then they will give you their highest score and their screenshot of what their highest score was. Um, the app will not let you go back and get a screenshot with um, anything other than your all-time highest score. So please make sure that each time your students are taking a screenshot on their phone every time they submit, because that might end up being one that they wanna go back and look at. Um, on, so you'll see the pie chart in a minute, but on the pie chart, the big red pieces are the cells that they had a hard time with. So make sure that they are also selecting those red sections on the, the final score chart to show you what cell line they had problems with. Now, the great thing about the app that they're using is that once they identify the uh, cell line that they're having trouble with, there is a tutorial about all of the cell lines in the Cell Atlas app. And guess what we do during Cell Bowl? We have tutorials in the Cell Bowl um, episodes. So we talk about the profession. This year, we're gonna be talking about you all, 
Okay, we'll be highlighting uh, your programs and talking about why students should come to your program. Then we talk about gameplay, and then we talk about a cell line during the week. So last year it was all normal, and this year it's going to be abnormal. Aaron, did you have something you wanted to say? I'm just excited to be uh, looking at some abnormal cells this year. Um, but yeah, I know we uh, promote the programs, we have a good time, and you're also um, learning at the same yeah, time. So just, uh, yeah, it's not just have fun. So last year, thank you, Aaron. We also talked about um, what ASCP certification enables you to do, like specialist certification, um, if you need that for leadership, all these different things. Um, so um, every week, uh, we'll have the ability to help engage the students more with the information. So it's not just what can you identify in 60 seconds. It's also going to be, if you had trouble with this, let us help you out. So I would encourage everyone to let their students know about last year's playlist because it's only gonna build. And if they do watch that, it'll honestly maybe save you some class time. <laughs> Uh, because it's some really great information. So once you have collected all of the highest scores from the highest score from each of your students, you as the faculty member or program director are going to be figuring out which one is the best score. This is where it becomes tricky and I will have a visual shortly. Um, this is where it becomes tricky because if you have less than a perfect score, you're going to have something out of 30, okay? It could be 15 out of 30, it could be 28 out of 30, but once we get to getting a perfect score, then it turns into time, okay? So I was so happy and I uh, texted Aaron right away because I finally figured out the math to make it so that the, um, the spreadsheet that I keep will calculate it itself, as long as you all follow directions, please. <laughs> so if it is something out of 30, you just put the number, no decimals, okay? So if it was 29 out of 30, just put 29 in, okay? If it was 15 out of 30, just put 15 in. If it was 30 out of 30, don't put 30 out of 30. It's gonna give you this like 59,632 as the, the time. And what I'm asking you to do is to put a decimal after the first two seconds, okay? So um, I'll show you that again. So you're either putting in the uh, perfect time or you're going to be putting in the number out of 30. Again, just the number, not the fraction. Okay, just the number. And hopefully my spreadsheet will calculate itself and it'll be so much less stress for me this year. All right, so if you are playing, you're going to be um, in regions, okay? Our United States has been um, categorized in three different regions by myself. Um, there's the East, the West, and the Midwest, okay? Now, what's happening the first four weeks are that you are playing against the others in your region. So if you are in the East, you're playing against everyone in the East. If you're in the West, you're playing against everyone in the West. And if you're in the middle, you're playing against everyone in the middle, all right? And by week four, what we're doing is we're going to average each team's score in the region. And the top two in the region are going to go to week five, okay? So uh, week five is uh, called the playoffs, okay? So we've got six teams going into the playoffs and from week five, we're going to see who are the top three Oh my goodness. And the top three will go into week six, which are the semifinals. Okay. So week five is where we go national. All right. Weeks one through four, you're playing around with your region, trying to be top dog on whatever coast or whatever plane you're in. Right. And then when we hit week five, 
we're going national. And then week six is basically going to find out who's in the Super Cell Bowl. All right. So the top two out of week six are going to make it to week seven. I didn't put the actual number up, um, but they're going to make it to the Super Cell Bowl. And obviously, everybody knows how that works. The top is going to be the winner and the second place person or second place team rather is going to be the competition and the you know the one who put the pressure on them <laughs> okay we do have a lot of fun um we try to make it as sports like as possible because that's that's how we make it fun Aaron makes a lot of wonderful dad jokes I laugh a lot and uh, we encourage everybody. So even if we say something like, I hope the East takes it, we're trying to encourage some banter, okay? It's not like we don't like the West or the Midwest. We like everybody. And that has been said in all the episodes that we're so proud of everybody, okay? So if you're concerned about you know, our loyalties, <laughs> Watch the whole episode, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the dad jokes will be terrible, but it's all in good fun. Absolutely. Um, it's it's just, it's supposed to be fun, a fun way to learn, okay? Gaming, um, making it a fun way to learn. So let's talk about the um, individual play. So the international event. So here is the time that these students need to beat. All right, so this is an example of what not to do, okay? Um, we actually want you to put it as 58 point and it would be 895. So um, this is how it shows on your screen um, and in the screenshot your students will give to you, um, or actually this is individual play, so the student is going to be doing this. So students out there, whether you are in the United States or if you are in Iran, Pakistan, um, the Philippines, Australia, we have a lot of people out in India also that watch the channel. So if you are playing, please make sure to, um, for your perfect score, if it beats my 58.895 uh, seconds, please make sure that you put the two numbers, then the decimal, and then the rest of the numbers. And you will be entered to win these lovely gifts on the left-hand side here. Each week has its own um, uh, prize that you could win. It is random. I don't just look at it and you know decide that I like somebody's name and you know have them win. It is. Um, I have mailed. I've mailed prizes to Africa before. Like it's not an issue if you are international. And we would love, love, love to have you play with us. Um, in the international event, okay? So just because you're not in the United States doesn't mean you're down and out, okay? So if you are uh, an individual, whether you're international or national, you can click on this link and it'll take you to a submission form where you will see it's like this, okay? And it reminds you what prize is each week, okay? And um, I will be collecting information from you. So if you do not feel comfortable providing your name and your address, uh, please don't enter, okay? Um, I do want to give you prizes. They are real. I am a real person and I'm not, not holding on to your information. I just need to have a way to um, send it to you. So I have had students who have um, sent me uh, their information but they didn't put the zip code or they didn't put the state or they didn't put the city. I can't send it to you and you will not win, okay? Oh, they can't actually see the form, Tiffany. Oh, they cannot. Can no. you switch your screen share? This, this type oh, sorry. That's the, if you switch your screen, you're probably sharing just the original form. There. Okay, I have two screens and it's going back and forth, I think. Thank you for that. So here um, is what the submission form looks like. One thing that you do need to understand is even though there is a link there, you're going to need to copy it and paste it into the browser. Otherwise, it's gonna say to update your um, Google browser and you don't really need to. Okay, so the link will be available in the um, description of this video. So you can always go back and look there. 
All right, now I'm going to try to flip back. This should be fun. All right, is it working for you? Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, in that form, it's gonna ask you for your information, how to get it to you and what color you wanted if it was a color that was needed. Okay, so where are the winners announced? We will announce them in every episode in the playlist. We will also have them on social media. So let's get social people. Let's share about the Cell Bowl and be happy and proud, loud and proud. I kept saying that last year and nobody was sharing anything. I had some really stellar sharers and then the rest did not, okay? Be a stellar sharer. The whole point about this is to number one, talk about you, talk about how great you're doing. Number two, promote the profession. We want as many people to know about us as possible so that you have um, friends and colleagues join um, and become friends and colleagues. And then number three, we want to promote your program for free. Hey, isn't that fun? Free, um, oh my gosh. Free, free on global platforms. Oh my gosh, you can't get this anywhere else. So take advantage, please. How do you do that? Well, make sure that you are tagging myself, tagging ASCP, and then whatever you're doing, make sure that you use this hashtag, sellable2022. If you go back and do hashtag sellable2021, there are pages of Google that talks just about our event. It was amazing. And then once and if you're aspiring to get to the Supercell Bowl, you could use Supercell Bowl 2022 as well. Okay. So we talked about the international prizes on the left. Here are the prizes for the winners of the Supercell Bowl. Remember, you need to be a variant. Can you can you mute? Um, thank you. So the winners of the Super Cell Bowl are going to have the interactive practice exam and study guide bundle. Oh, yay. And they get to have tons of bragging rights. Um, they'll get a beautiful trophy that says 2021, but it will be 2022 on there. It's got ASCP's logo, my name in there. Um, and then uh, we will do a a live session with you on Medical Lab Lady Gill's YouTube channel talking about your rise to fame. You will be in the Critical Values ASCP um, publication. It's a magazine that ASCP runs. Uh, I think it's quarterly. And you will also be on Elaborate, um, which I forgot to put on here. Um, sorry about that. But you will have an interview with Elaborate Topics um, lovely podcast ladies, and they will be interviewing you about your rise to fame as well. Now, um, just to give a shout out, Stephanie Whitehead is one of the Elaborate Topics ladies, and she was 40 under 40 this year for ASCP. So a round of applause to her. She's a good friend of mine and really excited to um, share all of our wonderful winnings um, in all the lab press, as Aaron likes to say. Okay, so let's take a quick look at- oh, the, yes. the only other thing I'd mention is that um, along with the hashtags, the ACP social media committee will actually be helping to kind of promote your messages. So if you're using these hag ta hashtags and everything, um, they're gonna kind of help promote your program even more. Absolutely, okay. thank you, Aaron. Um, I meant to say that. We're both on the social media committee as well for ASCP. So we are going to be lighting up the internet about you all. So please share, have a good time with it, follow us, and you'll be able to see all these wonderful things. So Aaron Odegaard is at A-A-R-O, nope, at O-D, O-D-I-E, zero, two, two, two. Okay, yeah. sorry about that, Aaron. I was thinking about your LinkedIn for a second. <laughs> Did you wanna say anything else about that? All right, so program directors and faculty, you were sent the um, team play instructions. 
So if you look here, you're going to see that the submission links that you need for all of your weeks are on the left here. And it tells you if you continue on or not, um, you have to be the second highest in the region to move to week five. And then um, down here, it does not tell you that only the top three teams go to week six, but then the top two teams are going to go to the Super Cell Bowl. That's on another page. We'll see that in just a second. So as I've said, um, all of the students are going to give their highest score to the PD, the program director, or the faculty member who is in charge of team play, okay? And they need to have their scores in to the submission link for that week by the end of Thursday night. Why the end of Thursday night? I'm so glad you asked that because I have to frantically put together all the information so that we as um, co-hosts and whoever comes out else on our show can immediately make an informative, wonderful episode about how amazing you are, okay? So at the end of Thursday night gives me this much time, okay? The, I got a lot of white hair from last year and I think I'm gonna continue. It's very stressful for me, but it's a labor of love because I, I love that we're able to support all of you. Okay, so in class, you're going to end up um, doing, I have my students do five. And um, so this, this game actually started in my program. I run an MLT program. And uh, what I was trying to do was get students used to um, identification in an environment that wasn't comfortable. <laughs> So we only did five, we only do five in our classroom. And so it kind of puts the pressure on them, but it also helps them to feel comfortable and not just being at home or relaxed all the time when they're doing patient identification, okay, or cellular identification, because your lab is not always going to be, um, you know, comfy, cozy. Like I did, I did my perfect score in a bubble bath. And that's not the kind of situation you're gonna be in at work. So I was trying to get them used to that type of environment. So I do know that there are a lot of online courses out there that are going to participate. So if you want to make it so that they do um, five submissions or whatever the case may be, that is up to you. You just need to get your highest score in by 23.30 on Thursday night. So that's 11.30 p.m. on Thursday night. If you do not get it in by that time, I'm really sorry, but you're not going to be um, submitting gameplay for that week. And my math, again, I'm so proud of my math. Um, it's going to calculate um, even if you didn't submit anything. So you will have, um, you will still have a submission if you were part of the original sign up. It's just not going to be the best score. It's, I mean, it's going to be a zero score, but it's going to um, mathematically change to make it so it's equitable. Okay, so this is what the end screen looks like. Uh, as I promised you, this is what the time looks like when you submit, please do it 58.895. Um, even though these are not very red, these would be the red pie pieces that I'm talking about. So you can select on those and it would show what your, um, what the cell line was that you had a problem with. So this one was an orthochromic erythroblast, okay? I don't know what the other one was. Okay, so um, here it tells you game progression and the dates that you're doing all of these submissions in by, okay? And it gives you a little highlight about what's happening during that time. And then your super, super cell bowl link is right here. If you are one of the two that make it into the super cell bowl. And then here are the frequently asked questions. So I have a lot of answers here for you. It's a lot of stuff that I've already said. So this is an example of what kind of score uh, you may get, but how to submit it properly. Here's the other one. If it's not a perfect score, how to submit it properly is just the 22 there. Okay. And then what high score do you submit? Um, it's just going to be the highest score out of your whole team for that week. 
submit it by 2330 and the submission link up above that we saw every Thursday. What kind of pictures do you take? Any kind you want. We used to have a selfie uh, background and I'm not sure if uh, our creative team has updated that yet. So I don't wanna speak out of turn, um, but you can take a picture outside. You can take a picture in your lab. We had a lot of wonderful pictures of everybody having fun. Um, where can you find your team's weekly score? Um, just catch us on social and it's definitely going to be posted there. The Medical Lab Lady Gill Channel YouTube um, community tab is going to have the different scores there. I post all the scores. And then um, also on the Twitter, um, the Twitter account, which is at Medical Lab Lady G. Uh, ASCP will be sharing as well. We're going to have a lot of great um, coverage on the website, like we said. And we do have a work group, a team of wonderful um, friends and colleagues that are ASCP members as well. So when we first started this event, uh, Aaron was the chair of the Council for Laboratory Professionals Committee for ASCP. And then now he's not anymore because you only have was a one year term. Is that correct, Aaron? As chair, yeah, you you get two three year terms and then one year as chair. Yeah. So he's since then stepped down, but we like consistency. So we are staying together um, and we are continuing to co-host, but we now have lots and lots of friends from the CLP committee. Big shout out to them. Uh, again, Stephanie was one of them. And so is Alfonso, who's on this call. <laughs> um, we are very thankful for our work group and the CLP committee. If you are an ASCP member and would love to join to be a helper out with C, or sorry, <laughs> with the cell bowl in the future, feel free to join the CLP committee or just let us know. Um, and then um, we talked about where do you submit your perfect score? And there is the link. Again, if the link does not work, please make sure to copy and paste into your browser on any of these. Um, and usually that ends the problem. All right. I think I covered everything pretty well. I'm ready for questions. <laughs> Thank you so much for the information. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it all went silent. Are you asking a question? <laughs> nope, but thank you. Okay, um, excellent. Thank you very much. So the time zone, that's a really good question. Um, even though we've been saying Eastern Standard Time, I'm not gonna stay up. <laughs> until midnight. I've got soccer games in the morning and everything. Uh, so if you are somewhere else, um, mountain time, whatever the case may be, you can absolutely go ahead and submit. And um, just as long as on that Thursday or by the Thursday. So if you submit on Tuesday, power to you. You know, I'm okay with that. Anytime you want, it just can't be Friday. Because then, you know, it makes me cry. It's too, it's a lot in a very little time. Yes, Rebecca. Um, so I'm just kind of answering one in the chat a little bit. Sure. Um, Amy's asking about online students can participate from their own locations. And mm -hmm. that is a yes. But what I had my students do last year for them to participate on the team is um, I created a generic email account that my adjunct and I shared so we could do this together. And they would email me their scores so they could be part of our team so that they could do it from where they were as long as they got it to us. And it was like eight o'clock is what I gave them. I didn't give them 23, 30 because I don't stay that late. Very good. That's a, that's a great idea. Um, I have uh, a Google form that I have my students fill out that automatically tracks everything for me and it goes into my shared drive and that, and I just clip from there and put it in. Um, I sent out that, um, 
that Excel spreadsheet that you can use if you would rather. You can also make it an assignment in your course shell and they can keep just submitting their scores each week and you can do it that way too. So there are lots of options, lots and lots of options. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca was a, a superstar last year too. I had less than 1% of my students participating, but that's they okay. participated. <laughs> yeah, there, there were some participating. Um, a lot of my students gave up <laughs> and they're just like, we're, we're done. We're not in the playoffs. And um, we have an internal motivation and I give them extra credit for whoever wins and whoever comes in second place in our program one. So I encourage you, if you are not making it to the playoffs, like I did not make it to the playoffs last year, we were number eight in the nation overall. And then we were number two in week four, but it didn't bump us to the playoffs. So even if you're not in the playoffs and you wanna keep going because it's a lot of fun, absolutely keep on going. Um, you know, you all can buy um, the lab swag if that's what they wanted. You can make up your own prizes, whatever you want to do. But I absolutely encourage giving extra credit because it is a lot of effort. It's a lot of stress for them too. They really do stress out about it. They don't need to, but they do um, because they want to do the best for you. So we'll be diffing. Yes, we will, Aaron. <laughs> A faculty face-off. I was trying to do that last year um, with the specialist that we had on the show. I think everybody knows him, Carlo Ledesma. Um, and I was trying to get him to face off with Cameron, or sorry, Cameron Mirza. Mirza, sorry. I'm so sorry, Cameron. Um, he's he's going to be so upset with me. Um, but uh, they did not make it happen. I was talking so much smack on Twitter, trying to get them to face off with each other and it was going back and forth and it looked like it was really gonna happen. It did not, but I would love that. Rebecca, that is a great idea. I wish that you know you were helping me out on Twitter last year. <laughs> that would have been great. So maybe we can make that happen, Aaron. I think we could also, um, you know, fresher a little bit. Uh, Dr. P over there could pressure Dr. Mirza a little bit. She's got the in. She's pretty persuasive. <laughs> I'll have to say Carlo is, is excessively busy. So um, every time I contact him, he's on another plane. <laughs> he's he's all over the place. He is. he is. Yeah, we talked about that even in the episode last year. We don't know how he's doing what he's doing. He's um, doing some crazy stuff, but he's a program director as well. And he is a DCLS student who is in residency right now, as far as I'm aware. And right, is that correct? He's in residency? Yeah. Okay, I just don't wanna say anything wrong here. Um, so it, you know, it would be super fun. Uh, Cameron is very busy as well. So it would be really challenging, I think, to get them to be able to do it together. But if they did it separately, and then just sent in the stuff. I'm, I'm rooting for it. I would love that to happen. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we'll have some fun surprises throughout the season. Somehow Maybe. we always, it, it tends to get pretty fun. So you Maybe. never know what's gonna happen with cell Bowl. But I'm signing you up, Rebecca. If you're ready to face off with someone else, I'm, we're ready for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to face off, but I don't expect to beat the other person. Neither do I. <laughs> All right, these are good. These are good questions. I'm going all the way back to try to see if there's can, any. Can we just go on and buy bling, your bling, like the hematology? Absolutely, thing? yeah. So I've never done that before, so I wanted to see if I could just, you know, I can have an internal competition among my students and like show the t-shirt and be like, hey, you get this. Oh, absolutely. Right here. So Thank I wanna, you. So I wanna make sure that I, <laughs> Thank you. That's that's wonderful. Yes, please do. I'm not I'm not pressing that. It's it's fine if you don't. Um, but yeah, absolutely. You want to have your own stuff? Um, go for it. 
And uh, so if you use that QR code, it does have the link to the store itself. Um, the internet has declared war on me. So my shelf is gone under the YouTube channel currently. Um, I don't know how to fix it yet, but we'll see. We'll try to get it out there. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff. Okay, so I think I think we've been answering all the questions in the chat. Yeah. So online programs, please do participate. Um, we would love to have you. The more the merrier. My goal. Uh, so we did seventy. We had seventy one programs last year. My goal is a hundred. So we will see really trying to reach out to the West because the West was not one <laughs> last year in regard to there weren't many people, um, many programs that were participating in the West. Um, we had like seven maybe sign up um, and then only really three played. So um, would really love to have, you know, participation from all over. Yeah, ready to diff. Okay, so um, that is pretty much it. We've been on for our hey, hour. Sorry, I have a question. Sure, thank you. Hey, sorry, <laughs> I put it in the chat. I guess it was missed. Um, but I'm trying to update my form I submitted to reflect the team's photo, but okay. it won't allow me to edit my like photo submission. I can only edit my typing response. Is the file too big? Um, I don't know, but I guess, can you, I guess, assist with updating, like, are we allowed to update our submitted form? Absolutely, form yeah, yep. And, okay, so it's, it's possible to update the picture, correct? I don't see why it wouldn't be. Okay. Um, I'll go and take a look at yours. What, um, do you mind saying what uh, yeah. program you're from? Sure. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Rachel. Um, this is the first year um, ODU, Old Dominion University in Norfolk, uh, Virginia, yes. will be participating. I thought that was you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rachel. That's a really good question. I will check you out and see what's going on there. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for participating. Okay, last chance for any any more comments, questions, concerns. We have three minutes till the hour. It's over. So what's the last day to sign up? The last day to sign up is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> September 30th is my 40th birthday. So yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be on live for the rest of the Happy eternity. birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Happy I'm birthday, so happy. Tiffany. <laughs> Thank you. So, yep. Um, Aaron's, I'm going to throw him under the bus. Aaron's turning 40 on um, uh, not September. I'm stuck on no. my birthday. On February 22nd, 22nd that's why yeah. it's 0222 on yep. his Twitter account. He wants everybody to know and celebrate his birthday. Yep. So, yes, okay. you just signed your team up by my birthday. Nothing else exciting after that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, you'll win. Yeah. If you drop yeah. in there, happy birthday. We'll see what we can do about making you yeah. win. <laughs> I'm excited. I see some fly. I see my friend Heather on too from. Um, Kaiser in Florida, so she can she can come celebrate with me. That'll be fun. Yes, for sure. I'd yeah. love to. <laughs> Online birthday party, maybe. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. One minute. What do you think? Any more? Any more questions? I think that might be a wrap. What do you think? Oh, I don't know, Sanjita, she's ready. Uh -oh. Yeah, so I had asked this in the chat. So just to make sure, students okay. have to get the app on their phones, yes. but they don't have to create an account or anything. They just take the screenshot and give it to us. So yes. Us, and then we submit. Okay, just wanted mm -hmm. to clarify that. Thank you. No problem. So if you um, if you decide to make a certain way, for them to submit their scores to you. Um, it might be through your LMS. 
It might be through your email. Um, it might be what Rebecca was talking about from you Ames, where you know she has a specific email address that she shares. It could be OneDrive. It could be so many things, however you want to do it. But the faculty member or the program director will be submitting into the form for the actual cell bowl. So you all can um, you know, decide how you want to do it um, outside of that for student submissions. I'm ragging on Aaron. You did a great job of answering in the chat. I was kidding with you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. OK, well, I, I, sorry, I'm, I'm almost done. Um, if I have a faculty like my program director, she is kind of delegating it to me. Do I okay. still have her email in the form as a participating program director? So I think I think we kind of had an email about this, you and I. Um, so how you choose to fill it out, it is a requirement to have the program director's um, information in there. And we do take uh, from that listing an email every week. Um, if you all chose to put your email there instead of hers for the email to send it to, um, you know, it is up to you, but we do have to get a hold of the program director for the um, the final prizes and everything. Um, so it's highly encouraged that you fill out the form the way it's meant to be. She doesn't need to look at all the emails if she doesn't want to. Um, but, you know, this is an opportunity for free advertisement. And I know ODU is really big about advertising. So um, I would encourage her to be really excited and, and want to participate and move it forward because the idea is, you know, our profession is not being replenished very much because of the lack of view by the community and the lack of, um, well, the perception maybe of what the lab really is. So this is our opportunity as educators and professionals to help the community at large to see who we really are and, and what we really do. Um, so it's encouraged to get program directors involved uh, as well as the, not just the faculty, so. I agree, but thank you. So if you would like to continue to have a conversation later, um, we've started that email, you can go ahead and uh, respond in there. Um, all right, so I'm trying to be respectful of everybody's time. Any last questions? This is going to be posted on the Cell Bowl website. It's also going to be on the YouTube channel, Medical Lab Lady Gill. So feel free to take a look and listen there. And if we had people that were not uh, available because they had class or you know students wanna watch this as well because it is the instructions, uh, feel free to pass it along. All right, once again, just to thank you for coming and we really appreciate your participation or perspective participation um, in the uh, in the description of this video uh, on the YouTube channel, you will find the links to the international um, submission and all program directors were provided with the other program director resource. Um, anyone who signs up, will also, if there is a faculty member on that emailing list, uh, that person will also get the, um, the file that we just showed as well. All right, thank you all. Thank you, Aaron, very much for being my co-host year two. Always. Yeah, awesome. Um, anything you would like to say in closing? I would just say take advantage of it, have a fun time and don't get stressed. Um, you might not be the best, but compete, give it your all and to fly crazy. To fly crazy. <laughs> Thank you all so much. And it was a pleasure having you. We'll see you on the Soul Bowl field. <laughs> Bye.